हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू कोड विद अनुराग वेयर यू कैन फाइंड लेटेस्ट जॉब अपडेट्स एंड कम्प्लीट प्लेसमेंट प्रिपरेशन फाइनली ऑन योर डिमांड आई एम हेयर विद पार्ट टू ऑफ दिस सीरीज सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एल डिस्कस हाउ टू क्लियर टी सी एस एंड क्यू टी कोडिंग कट ऑफ विदाउट एनी कोडिंग नॉलेज प्लीज नोट दिस इज अ पार्ट टू एंड आई ऑलरेडी अपलोडेड अ पार्ट वन इफ यू डेंट वॉच पार्ट वन येट प्लीज वॉच पार्ट वन फर्स्ट आफ्टर वॉचिंग पार्ट वन कम बैक टू दिस वीडियो एंड प्लीज नोट यू विल फाइंड लिंक ऑफ द पार्ट वन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स also if you want to watch this same video in the c programming language then also you can watch this same video in the c programming language also here i used c programming language in this video so you can see here all the positive responses so you can watch now so uh, this video is going to be in python programming language and in this video we will deal with strings also we will deal with multiple inputs so without wasting any time let's get started so let's start with the question number 1 so here you can see the question number 1 if we if i scroll here you can see this question is very long and quite difficult but we don't have to worry about the question only what we have to take care we have to focus only on the test cases so here you can see there are total two test cases here so if we scroll here you can see easily okay so test cases here you can see here you can see there are two test cases one is this test case here we can see the inputs value then here we have we can see the output values again here again here uh, in the test case 2 we have inputs value then again we have output value okay so how to deal with this question so simply we have to uh, read the test case one so here what is the input in the test case one there are two inputs first one is this small ca again second one is capital ca after that if the inputs are this small c and capital c then we have to print this invalid output okay again after that if you see here here input values are n i and h a if input values if input values are n i and h a then what we have to print we have to print 23.0 i n r okay so let's start <coughs> how to deal with this so here i am going to open our terminal <coughs> sorry not terminal our here uh, code editor so here i am going to use python 3 language you can use any version of the python uh, the same trick you have to apply so simply you can see there are total two inputs okay uh, first we will uh, discuss only about test case one so here in the test case one we can see there are total two inputs one is small c and second one is capital c and please note this uh, the, both the test cases and both the inputs are in the string format str format okay str okay this is string not in an integer okay so how to how to take input in an str so simply we can write a equal to str after that we will write this parenthesis after that input input after that we will uh, open and write uh, close the uh, parenthesis after that same thing we will copy this we will copy this and here we will paste just what we will do we will just write here b so here uh, we we are taking two inputs one is a second one is b after that we will write the condition so what we will write here uh, this is the a c a is the a and the second one is b okay so how to do so this is a this is b so if a is equal to equal to c a and b is equal to equal to capital c then we have to print this invalid output okay so how to do this simply we have to use if a is equal to equal to equal to equal to c a small c a and please note uh, all the strings we have to write inside this single quotes okay after that and because there are two test cases uh, not sorry uh, two inputs that's why we are using and first is a second one is b if b is equal to equal to b is equal to equal to here capital c a then what we have to do capital c a capital c and a so if uh, the condition is this then we have to print then we have to print invalid input invalid output sorry okay so simply we have to print invalid output okay now same condition uh, either we can copy that or okay just copy this or we can write here simply if 
दिस इज दिस टू लाइन लाइन नंबर थ्री एंड फोर आर दि आर फॉर द टेस्ट केस वन ओके नाउ आफ्टर दैट नाउ वी विल राइट द कंडीशन फॉर टेस्ट केस टू सो फॉर टेस्ट केस टू हेयर वॉट वी विल राइट इफ ए इज इक्वल टू इक्वल टू कैपिटल एन आई सो हेयर वी विल राइट इफ ए इज इक्वल टू इक्वल टू कैपिटल एन आई एंड प्लीज नोट हेयर आई दर यू कैन यूज सिंगल कोट और यू कैन यूज डबल कोट लाइक दिस यू कैन यूज लाइक दिस डबल कोट ऑल्सो नो इशू ओके बट हेयर आई एम गोइंग टू यूज सिंगल कोट ओनली आफ्टर दैट सेकेंड इनपुट इज एंड सेकेंड इनपुट इज कैपिटल ए सॉरी कैपिटल एन ए एच ए एच ए कैपिटल एच ए ओके सो हेयर वी विल राइट बी इज इक्वल टू इक्वल टू कैपिटल एच ए इफ लाइक दिस देन वॉट वी हैव टू प्रिंट देन वी हैव टू प्रिंट ट्वेंटी थ्री पॉइंट जीरो आई एन आर ट्वेंटी थ्री पॉइंट जीरो आई एन आर ओके देन वी हैव टू प्रिंट दिस ओके सो वी आर डन विद दिस क्वेश्चन सो नाउ लेट्स रन दिस कोड एंड चेक इज इट करेक्ट और नॉट ओके सो हेयर वी आर गोइंग टू रन दिस टेस्ट केस सो हेयर वी विल राइट द टेस्ट केस फर्स्ट वी विल ट्राई विद दिस वी विल फर्स्ट वी विल एंटर स्मॉल सी ए सो नॉट एक्स ए सॉरी सी ए फर्स्ट वन दिस सेकेंड वन इज कैपिटल सी ए कैपिटल सी ए नाउ वॉट शुड बी द आउटपुट आउटपुट शुड भी इनवेलिड आउटपुट सो इफ आई प्रेस एंटर दैन आउटपुट शुड भी इनवेलिड आउटपुट सो लेट सी आउटपुट इज इनवेलिड आउटपुट इट मीन्स दिस इज करेक्ट ना अगेन वी विल रन दिस कोड एंड वी विल चेक फॉर द टेस्ट केस टू ओके सो फॉर टेस्ट केस टू लेट्स रन दिस इफ एज एन आई एंड सेकेंड वन इज एच ए Now what should be the output? Output should be twenty three point zero INR. Now I'm going to press enter. We got twenty three point zero INR. Okay, so output is correct. So we are done with this question. Question. Now let's move to another question. Question number two. Okay, so question number two is here. We can see the question. So we don't have to read the question. Only we have to focus only on the test cases. So here again there are two total two test cases. One is input. वन कैपिटल एस देन वी हैव टू प्रिंट द आउटपुट इफ इनपुट इज वन ए देन वी हैव टू प्रिंट ट्वेंटी सेवन इफ इनपुट इज ट्वेंटी थ्री जी एफ देन वी हैव टू प्रिंट वन जीरो नाइन एट जीरो ओके सो वी हैव टू प्रिंट दिस सो लेट्स लेट्स डू हाउ टू डू दिस सो आई एम गोइंग टू रिमूव दिस और नॉट रिमूव जस्ट आई चेंज द वैल्यूज ओके सो दैट वी कैन डू दिस क्विकली एंड हेयर देर इज ओनली वन इनपुट सो वॉट वी विल डू आई राइट ओनली वन इनपुट आई रिमूव बी Because here uh, there is only one input, okay. Uh, if you can here uh, see this, here here in the previous question there were total two inputs here C A and capital C A here N I or H A. But in this question we have only one input one A that is, okay. So here I we don't need B, and here again I can remove this condition. So, uh, so in if input is one A, what we will do? So if A is equal to equal one A. Then what we have to print? We have to print twenty seven. So here I will write twenty seven. Okay. Again, second one. If input is twenty three gf in the second test case, we will remove b because we don't need b. Here we have to write twenty three gf. Twenty three gf. This is the input. Here and what we have to print? We have to print one zero nine eight zero. So here, what we will print? One zero nine eight zero. Okay. So we are done. Let's run this code. Okay. So here, if I write one a, then what we should expect? Expect uh, expected output should be twenty seven. That is correct. Now again, we will run this. Now I am going to run twenty seven gf. Okay. Now I am going to press enter. Output is one zero nine eight zero. So we are done. So this is again a easy question. Okay, we can easily do this. Now let's go to question number three. So question number three again you can see, but we don't have to focus on question. We just have to focus only on the test cases. So here you you can see uh, again we have two. Here what we have we have two inputs. But first input is. is type of string and second input is type of integer so and here again we can see output is again two lines two lines of output we have and here we have only one line of output so now how to deal with this type of question now let me explain again this is a also a easy type question but let me explain 
so here we are total two we have total two two inputs okay so for two inputs we will again write two uh, two inputs here again i'll put this but please note here uh, i'll mm, change the name and please here you can see first output first input is type of string and second uh, our second input is type of uh, integer so what we will do here we will write int okay because int is for integer and str for string okay so after that what we have to do if if a is equal to equal to c and uh, b is equal to equal to 1 then we have to print this okay so let's do this if a is equal to equal to c and b is equal to equal to 1 okay then we have to print this welcome to ccd okay so let's print this uh, so here what we have to do welcome to ccd and after that exclamation mark because here we have to put the exclamation mark here after that we, here we have two lines of output so this is again simple what we will do again we will write another print and in this print what we will write enjoy your after that so here what we will do here we have to print enjoy your espresso coffee so we will write here espresso coffee okay so here we will write oh sorry it's a espresso okay here we have to write coffee espresso coffee after that we have to put the exclamation mark here so we are done here with the test case one after that uh, we have to uh, take care about this test case two so so here what we will do so again we will just copy this let, let me remove this let me copy this or okay let let's not copy let's write by our own okay so if a is equal to equal to t if a is equal to equal to t and b is equal to equal to let me write here b is equal to equal to 9 then we have to print invalid input or oh, sorry invalid output so here we will write one and here one more thing i did mistake here so we don't have to use this inside the parenthesis inside this uh, single quote okay because this is a type of uh, integer not a string okay here we have to write 9 so if it is 9 then what we have to do then we have to print invalid output okay so we are done okay after that also we have to put the exclamation mark okay yeah so we are done now let's run this code okay i'm going to run this code so now let's check so here i'll i'm going to uh, press c after that one now we have output what output we have we have uh, welcome to ccd enjoy your espresso coffee so you can see we have the correct output now again let's again run this code and we will write a small t after that we will write n sorry 9 now here i am going to press enter here we can see as uh, invalid output okay so we are done with this question also okay now let's move to another question so in the question number 4 i removed the question because we don't have to worry about the question we have to focus only on the test cases so here in the question number 4 we have total two test cases and in both the test cases we have total three inputs and all the inputs are type of the integer only so let's do how to solve this type of question so here what i am going to do i am going to uh, remove everything not everything uh, only two lines i'll put here so here uh, what i'll do i'll uh, change is to print why int because here we have uh, the type int all the inputs are type of integer that's why i put it int after that i'll again copy this 
after that here i'll paste this and here i'll change the name of the variable that is c so here we have total three inputs a b and c and all the inputs are type of integer right after that so this is very easy uh, if a is equal to equal to 10 and b is equal to equal to 5 and c is equal to equal to 13 then we have to print this okay so let's do how to do this okay so so if a is equal to equal to what is this uh, 10 5 and 13 10 sorry 10 and b is equal to equal to 5 and c is equal to equal to 13 okay 10 5 and 13 then what we have to print we have to print something we have to print let's see what we have to print we have to print 568.9 568.9 okay so after that let's again write this uh, test case for second one test case second so here uh, 12 0 and 23 so here if a is equal to equal to 12 and b is equal to equal to 0 and c is equal to equal to 23 c is equal to equal to 23 then what we have to print we have to print 455.2 455.2 uh, so we are done here so now let's the run the code and let's see our input and our code is correct or not okay so i'm going to run this okay so here first i'll press 10 5 and 13 now i'm going to press enter enter so we can see the output output is we can see the output output is 568.9 that is correct now again we will run this code now we will check for test case 2 we will print enter 12 0 and 23 now i am going to press enter enter so we got 455.2 okay that is correct so we can you can see uh, we are done with this question now let's move to another question so question number five so here also i removed the uh, question because we don't have to worry about the question we have to focus only on the test cases so here we can see uh, we have only one input but we have uh, multiple outputs i mean we have total three outputs but we have only one input output is uh, output is more than one okay so how to deal with this let's run okay so here what i am going to do i am going to remove everything here and here uh, we need only one input that's that's why i am going to remove this also and what is the type of input type of input is float this is a float okay uh, we can see the decimal value please note this is not an integer this is the decimal that is we call it float okay in the coding we call it float so here what we have to change here we have to write float instead of the int so this is float after that uh, we have to simply check if a is equal to equal to this 23.4 then we have to print these three outputs these three outputs or if input is a is equal to equal to this then we have to print this okay this is very easy so let's do this so if a is equal to equal to 23.4 so if a is equal to equal to 23.4 then we have to print print what we have to print 12 first we have to print 12 after that in the next line we have to print 32 and in the next line we have to print 1 1 so we are done with the test case 1 now let's uh, try for test case 2 I am going to copy this here I will paste this just I will change few things what I will change here uh, here if input is 3.7 else if input is 3.7 3.7 after that now what we have to print we have to print 122 76 122 122 here after that 76 and 234 76 and 224 234 76 and 234 234 okay, i guess we are done yeah we are done okay now i am going to run this code okay so our code is running now uh, let's try 
here I'm going to write 23.4 now I'm going to press enter so we got something yeah is it correct or not yeah this is correct if input is 23.4 then output should be 12 32 and 1 okay this is correct only now let's try for this test case too after that we will again run here after that here uh, we will try 3.7 now I'm going to uh, press 3.7 here I am going to press enter again now we can see the correct output 122 76 and 34 122 76 and 30, 234 okay so we are done this question also and that's it from my side in this video if in future if I feel we need part 3 then I will upload part 3 also and if you want to ask any question then you can join our telegram channel I will put a link in the description box or if you want to ask any question uh, regarding anything then you can ask in the comment box also yeah that's it from my side in this video if you think this video is helpful like this video and subscribe this channel for more such videos thank you for watching this video